if you laugh <laughs> once or green, damn it, you out of there. Yep. Got to be sucking on the pacifier pack. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So she can damn eat. God forbid he had a damn yeah. bump in a fucking food fall. No. Oh, wow. No. 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 D-Lo, hey, yeah. Clutch. I'm in the clutch, we in the clutch, the team up in clutch. You think that we suck, your dreams are the luck, your ship is just sunk, we turn up for what? Ooh, yeah. See that my face is up in disgust because people talking a mess, but there's nothing to discuss. I'm just being honest, I'm keeping it a bug. Uh huh. We in the clutch! Oh, shit. We were out right here. <laughs> we were out right here. What's going on, clutch? What? What up, what up, what up? In the clutch. Y'all know what it is. Oh, uh. man. All right. So we're doing David's Desperate Love Saga. Don't judge us. <laughs> judge yourself. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, David's Desperate Love Saga. This is the guy that was next to our other homie um, from last episode yeah, with dude, the simps. Yeah, so we're, we're checking out some more. I think he's the top one, if I'm I, not mistaken. I believe so. The dude said he was the mega ultra lord yeah. of simps. So right. we're going to see how simpish he is. The 90, 90 Day, day fiance. fiance. This should be an interesting one. Appreciate all the love and support on the channel, y'all. Let's do the damn thing. Let's go. With these damn pacifiers. <sighs> it's it's been seven years in the making. Thousands of hours of chat. I want someone who shows affection. Can I get that from just knowing somebody through chat for seven years? Okay, I see she's online. Good. Seven years? Hey, yo, you tripping, cuz. Whoa. I'm inviting her to chat. Hi, honey. <laughs> She's giving me a little icon walking guy doing what are they this. On? Oh, but on. sometimes I just want to see her. She's just so beautiful to me. But it's also much more expensive to uh, to use their their video chat service. Much more expensive. Much more expensive. Damn, that much? Then they show him right up <laughs> there. <laughs> oh. For the last seven years of his life, David has been on a quest for love. After spending about a hundred grand wandering around Eastern Europe for a few years, a hundred who? What you do for a living, David? Right. You got some money to just be throwing away. God damn. For the simps with the money, bro. Damn. In hiring a private investigator to find his elusive girlfriend, his dream finally came true when he actually got to meet her in person. Now, the entire world was shocked when she actually showed up to meet him. I don't think anyone expected that. Most people thought this was a catfish type situation. Wow. Just considering the fact that he traveled to meet her five separate times and she blew him off all five times. But hey, nothing says true love like hiring a private investigator to track down your girlfriend from across the world because you think times. she might be catfishing you for money. It's a classic love story. It's it's just a cliche at this point. Sorry, my friend. This is not only names. She uh, she using the same picture with different names. Those are not her. It's it's same picture. Yes. It's the same. Yeah, okay. her picture is going to be stolen and used by other oh, other people. Wow. Other and that right there he is when she realized that this guy is a goddamn yeah, lunatic. He, he other false websites can steal her pictures. They are not her account. So when the investigator that this guy hired tells him that his girlfriend is probably doing the same thing to multiple people under different names, he's just like, nah, I don't believe you. That's bullshit. You okay. don't know her. I do. You've never met You're her. listening to him. Never met her. She's just like, yeah, you've never even met her before. And by the way, this woman is just the translator. She's not even the investigator. Wow. So I don't even know why he's mad at her. I, I'm going to bet that these are all fake websites. How long are you going to lie to yourself? <laughs> Come on, let's get real here. Let's get real. She's being framed by fake websites because they want to prevent me from Dang having big. true love. Come Forget on, about bro. the $100,000 that I gave her. She gave me $100,000 worth of love. Every time I translate it, just the facts, he became more and more angry. I don't understand why you'd hire an oh investigator boy. for their oh professional boy. opinion, and then when they come back with information you don't like, you're just going to yell at right. them and say that they're wrong. He wants to make sure his girlfriend isn't scamming him, so he hires these people, and they're like, yeah, dude, she's totally scamming you. the same you. shirts like, hey, in different colors. you don't yeah. know her? She sends me <laughs> dancing emojis and shit, bro. You can't even begin to comprehend how deep our relationship is. Oh, my God, bro. Is that what I think it is, bro? It looks like baby hole. That's what it looks like. Not no purple. Well, is that? Oh! <laughs> hey, yo, I am. 
Mm -mm. Right next to the medicine. <laughs> I'm good. Relationship goes. He's giving me a little icon walking guy doing this. I can't wait to see her in person. <sighs> yeah, I was chatting with Lana last night and I was asking her the details about the train ticket to meet with me in Odessa. But she can't remember where she saved the tickets. Oh, really? Wow, that's surprising. Last night, she told me it arrives at 8 a.m. Uh, and I trust Lana. Why? Why do you trust her? Dude, you tried to meet with her five separate times. She gave you a fake address to her house. You showed up and there's just some random Whoa. people in there. And this isn't traveling a few hours. This guy went across the world and she's ghosting him. I've been waiting for Lana to show up since 2 p.m. And I'm starting to get nervous that all of this was for nothing. If she just meets me for five minutes, it's five minutes longer than I've ever spent with her before. Well, that's one fucking way to put it, I guess. Bro. You travel around the entire world, and, and you'd be cool if she just walked out and said hi for five minutes. And remember, this is 90 Day Sorry, Fiance. Shit. These two are planning on getting engaged. This is supposed to end in marriage. And here we are, seven years later, you've never even met the woman. You got a hundred grand down the drain. And the only thing that you've gotten out of this relationship is, is some emojis. Walking guy doing this. I don't even think the word simp is enough. All I can oh, no. say is this guy is the absolute king of that shit. She's not gonna show up this is beyond that oh my god how could she do this to me again because she's a liar so eventually david does end up meeting lana in person and i mean it's probably because the show paid her a ton of money to come out mm -hmm. and see him but you know it's it wow. still happens 10 59 now i'm starting to get nervous again oh Every really time you wonder, say that. wonder why that is I don't know what she'll be wearing, but I do remember seeing a photo where she has a bluish gray knit cap. I have no idea what she's wearing, but I saw a picture one time where she had like a knit cap on or some shit. Wow. This whole thing is just this guy talking to himself and making excuses for her to reassure this is himself. Sad, bro. Is that her? Who the hell is he looking at? <laughs> uh, she wouldn't wait down there. There is another statue across the street. She wouldn't think it was there. This guy sounds so goddamn lost. Now he's just pointing God. at different locations and saying that she's not over there. There's another statue over there, but she wouldn't go to that statue. Right. Why, why the hell would she go over there? There's a balcony up there, but she's not going to go up there. I don't know where she's going right. to go. Because I don't know who the hell she is. I don't even know where I am. <laughs> this is so cool. If she doesn't show up this time... I'm not coming back. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you are, dude. Right. Come on, don't, don't give me that. She could have easily just stood you up again and then sent this you some emoji sad. or some shit a few days later and you'd, you'd be back to it again. Oh my God. <laughs> that's her. That is her. Oh, yep, that's her. She's here to say hi for five minutes. This wow. is off. I, can't it. <laughs> I cannot believe somebody could be that naive. You don't think people like that exist, but he, look at the smile, bro. My guy, my guy is really, really loving this right now. Like, look at him. I can't believe it. <laughs> I feel more comfortable. I don't know if I've ever seen anyone as excited as this guy is this. right now. <laughs> Thanks. And I like how he doesn't even say, oh, I'm so happy to see you or anything like that. He's basically mm. just like, oh, my God, you're real. I get to touch right. you now. Wow. <laughs> mm. That boy said, wow. <laughs> I can't believe you're here. The sounds that this guy is emitting are making me really uncomfortable. Yeah. And I'm like 98% sure she's uncomfortable, too. Oh, yeah, she's definitely uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, he's smiling. Oh, y'all not going to say nothing, bro. You've been trying to chatting with this girl for seven years and you come five different times and you ain't going to say <laughs> nothing. Like you don't know what to say. <laughs> My God, shell shot. Mm. This is awful. One more second of quiet. All right, that's it. Time's up. You got to you gotta put more money in if, if you want to continue. <laughs> <laughs> seen her at the point that I saw her and, and then... Actually, her Too walking up, that, and then bro. at one point 60, when I man. fully recognized her and knew it was her, that was just wonderful. It couldn't have been better. It couldn't have been better. Mm. You mean wow. like if she showed up the first time, mm. or the second time, mm. or the third time? Mm. Or the it couldn't have been better. <laughs> so next, David decides to immediately ruin everything by bringing up the time that she gave him a fake address and also bringing up the private investigator. I waited for you. I actually drove to your home. And I could not find you because 
The address you had given me was wrong. Wow. Я думаю, что это безумно. It is bad. We gotta talk to a damn translator, bro. God damn. How y'all been messaging? What the hell they been messaging through? Google Translate got an IM? Mm. <laughs> I think what she means by that is it's completely insane for you to try to track me down the way you did. I gave you a fake address because I was afraid that you might just randomly pop in at my apartment. Which and he would that's have. kind of what happened. So you proved my point. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's it's exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But you're still taking it. I have something to tell you. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. I hired a private investigator to find you. Smooth. She already thought you were crazy, right. dude. She already said you were genuinely insane. Now you're gonna say you hired an investigator to find her? You found her. You don't even need to tell her that. Right. Let up Shenya. After so many years of communication together. It's pretty funny how he's telling the cameramen and producers of the show that he trusts her and at the same time is hiring a spy to hunt right. her down. Whatever the case, I think it's pretty clear this is not going to end well. Oh, this guy's pretty much trying to live out a real life fairy tale love story thing he's got going in his head. And she's thinking, dude, can you just go back to the United States and keep sending me money? That's it was working funny. out for the last seven years. It was it was going great. I'll send you all the dancing emojis you want. Just just <laughs> get the hell out of here. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like Later, I will let you pick the ones we keep, and we can delete anything else. Oh wow! Oh, Did you hear so that? Later, going to allow you to pick which photos you want to delete or keep. That's that's sick. I, I really like how it's going so far with Lana. I. Uh, she don't understand. Shit, he's. I just want to see you know more affection with Lana, and you know, see how. You know, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I that look. was crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Look at your eyes all the time. Mm -hmm. It seriously mm -hmm. does look like she thinks he's insane. Oh, yeah. She's probably worried about getting murdered or some mm -hmm. shit. He's just she's sipping away at his tea over there. He's just sitting there thinking that everything's going swell. So next they go on this super romantic going bowling swell. date. And it turns out this guy was a, a pro bowler. Which oh, is wow. pretty much the first thing oh, I wow. would have guessed that this guy did for a living. So if I get a strike. If I get them all down in one ball, a pro I get bowler. a kiss. They got to talk to you. Mm. Okay. He's trying to use his bonus okay. kiss to get the kiss. She had to think about it, bro. <laughs> I hear now. This nigga been practicing. He's a pro bowler. She said, fuck. <laughs> He's a With that strike, things began to turn around for David. He thought he might actually be able to seal the deal. I mean, you saw that sexy bowling form of his. <laughs> <laughs> come on, get it. Come oh, and get it. Oh, no. Not to come and get it. Oh, no. Oh, cringe to the ultimate power. Yeah, I can't do this no more. No. I can't do this no more. <laughs> Okay. He just goes in for more, and she's clearly nah, just yeah. not into it. All I can really say <laughs> about all this is, I, I hope it was Kiss worth my it, dude. I seriously do hope it was worth it. Anyway, this isn't the only situation so like take this on money. the show. In fact, some mm -hmm. of these would just make a lot more sense if they were just on the show Catfish. On one end mm -hmm. of the show, you have couples like Rose and Big Ed, or Danielle and Muhammad. And on the other end of the show, you have couples that don't even meet, and people are clearly just getting scammed. While David's relationship is probably the most entertaining of this sort on the show, there are still a few others worth talking about. So for the last portion of this video, we're gonna transition over to the woman who fell in love with a few stock photos. I fell in love with him online after he DM'd me on Instagram. And even though we never video chatted, on, he texts and calls me every day. So at the Yolanda, very least, right? this woman has talked on the phone many times with her boyfriend, and they've only been together seven months, so it's not like this crazy seven-year goose chase like David. It's pretty strange that they've never video chatted, but she does like talking to him on the phone a lot because he has a sexy British accent. I love hearing his voice. The British accent is the sexiest accent on, in the world. Come Hello? On, little sister. Hello, baby. I'm doing this good. This nigga sound How like a goddamn <laughs> gas station worker. 
<laughs> Niggas, you call to get your iPhone fixed. Hello? Right. <laughs> Hello, how you doing? <laughs> you want screen fix? I mean, you want uh, to Oh, my baby? God, bro. Come this on, is... Bro. <clears throat> this come is, on. This is Yolanda. You look like a Yolanda. Come on, baby. <laughs> Yeah. Ew, so I'm fine. All right, I don't know what the hell that was, but that is not a British accent. Not. Does it really sound like that voice belongs to this guy? No. Oh, I love hearing his voice. Oh, the kids. <laughs> oh, they good. Oh, the, the kids, kids are good. <laughs> Thank you for asking. I'm so eager to see. She's, she's over here orgasming over a fake British voice and a few stock images. I say fake British voice, it's not even a fake British voice. I don't know what the hell, I don't know what it is. It, it reminds me of the Buddy. phone call from Taken. <laughs> but seriously though, literally anyone on the planet can look up a picture of a hot guy on a beach or some shit like that and then just do this themselves. I don't know how the hell people are still falling for this. My daughter, Kara, has been skeptical about Williams yeah. um, from the beginning. So she's going with me to England. Do you know which airport? Going? Um, I'm not sure which airport. He lives in Manchester, sister, sister. but he also mentioned London. <laughs> nobody, nobody telling her nothing. Come nah, on, bro. You Y'all spending thousands of dollars to, to get to okie front. doke. Somebody get your mama, bro. All right, Dad. That's oh, what, no. That's so I'm out. not... 100% sure. She's literally about to book a flight to go meet this guy and she has no idea what airport she's flying to and she doesn't even really know where he lives. He said that he lives in Manchester but he also mentioned London before or something. I'll just call him and see. Hello? Hi, good morning, how are you? You're a little sleepy, huh? What the hell? Is he even saying words? I think this is the face that everyone's making while watching. Right. This. And she's just over here with no suspicions whatsoever. Like, absolutely none. Have you have you heard a British man before? Okay, I need to know the exact airport I need to fly in because I'm booking my flight now. Okay, London. He said London. I did not get. Yeah, that. Do you know the that. name right. of the airport? Probably said no, no. What you gonna text me later? I'm just totally confused. I'm lost. This guy's not even trying to do an accent. He's not even slightly he's not. trying. It sounds like he's half asleep reading from a script. What is going on? I haven't really been able to understand a word, but she has no problem hearing everything. Um, it is stressful for me because um, I don't know who this guy is Poor and you, what his man. intentions That's are. And too. what about him only talking to you for a couple of seconds? Is that what he usually does when you guys talk to um, each other? You don't think he got off the phone Okay, quick. that's him. Look at this message. I will pick you up at London Airport before proceeding. Like proceeding? Bullshit. What is this, a drug deal? Not right. really the kind of word choice you use when picking up someone you love from the airport. It's not a very warm, loving message. Now, eventually, her kids did show her some evidence that the photos that Williams was using are just stock images that he found online somewhere. The last I saw, she was still talking to the dude, so this might end up continuing for a little while longer, so we'll see. Now, before this ends, what? I just want to show one more of these situations, but this one is going to be can't real be that quick. Long, but one day, I was on Facebook book and I got a friend request from a Michael Jones. I'm sure it's all going to work out for you. <sighs> so much cringe in one People video. People actually fall for this. Women shit. can simp too. <laughs> Whoa, very much so. so we very see, much so. Women can simp too. Don't get it twisted. All you got to do is put a stock photo up there and have a fake British action. Hello. Hello, how you doing? Bro, this nigga didn't even have an accent when it she was called it. him again. That shit was... <clears throat> Hello, yeah. Hey, hey, man. London, London, I'm going to text you. Hey, man. Like, what? You, you don't have to do the most to find true love out there, ladies David, and gents. And David is such a... Cr oh. You don't even have to, you know what I'm saying, travel that far, man. You can find someone potentially within your own city. You know what I'm saying? Just go out get you know go to different places you know you know get out the house get out your comfort zone a little bit you facts know man get and out go see somebody you yeah know go 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 out. go to Barnes and noble go something some coffee somewhere. go on the inside don't don't go through the drive through yeah go, go somewhere explore, man. explore this world bro because boys it, bro. is out here finessing men and women so sure. be careful out there sheesh yeah but now nah, man hopefully y'all enjoyed the video man again make sure you run up the like subscribe to the channel never forget we in the clutch. All right. is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. 
Now they hate on me cause I'm causing casualties But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me